This is ANN News Brief. Tanzanian President John Magufuli has issued a directive for schools at all levels to reopen later this month. Magufuli also ordered a return to normalcy of all social and economic activities that had been stopped by coronavirus. Restrictions and lockdowns during parliament session on Tuesday, the, uh, the president repeated his claim that the country was spared from the coronavirus pandemic by God. Tanzania has reported 509 COVID-19 cases and 21 deaths. Prime Minister Kasim Majaliwa said on Monday the country only had 66 cases of the virus in 10 out of 26 regions in the latest figure. In a move similar to Tanzania, Guinea's president, Alpha Conde, has announced places of worship will reopen from June 28th, but only in areas where infections have not been reported. In an address to the nation on Monday, the president said students scheduled to sit for exams and those in universities will resume learning around the same period. Authorities say social distancing and wearing of face masks will be implemented during the first phase of resumption of lessons as the nation begins easing some restrictions imposed to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Guinea has confirmed 4,639 coronavirus cases, including 26 deaths. We'll be right back. South African President Cyril Maposa has said the coronavirus pandemic had worsened unemployment in the country. Ramaphosa urged young people in the country to partner with government in coming up with solutions to the unemployment crisis. He said the government was now looking up to the innovative and pioneering spirit of its young people. In his Youth Day message, the president said through programs like the Presidential Youth Un Unemployment Initiative, the National Youth Service and many more, the government aims to support the country's young people to see their ideas through from incubation to opening the doors of their businesses. South Africa is the worst affected nation on the African continent with more than 76,000 coronavirus cases. That is the NN News Brief at 11. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi. <laughs>